So I rode around on the motorcycle for a while trying to find another entrance to the Florida Trail. Didn't find it, but I just decided I wanted another hike today because that loop I did on the on the on that piece of the Florida Trail, that'll be a different video. So I'm going to do this Johnson Pond Trail. Looks pretty good. We're parked right here off of CR 30. 39 to US 41 5 miles um, It's an easy uh, 1.8 mile through a mature forest to the observation deck at the north end of the Johnson Pond uh, The trail provides a variety of bird habitats such as sandhill scrub hardwood and meadow. I'll let you read the rest uh, What is the great Florida birding trail? The great Florida birding trail is a program of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation to to network a system of birding trails throughout Florida. It's a 2,000 mile trail. So, uh, and then you've got, uh, here's another picture that you can look at. Oh, don't feed the alligators. <laughs> I don't even know why they put that up. Right. So this is the, uh, with, with luck, true coot, Chi State Forest. Uh, so let's just get hiking, let's do it. Uh, we we'll just go through the, the gate right here. There's the there's my chariot right there. By the way, I got the movie wrong. That was Hamburger Hill, not Apocalypse Now. But people were screaming going to because I was talking about when Mel Gibson was out there saying, you know, let's get on our chariots, which is those helicopters. So uh, anyway, I've corrected that for uh, if you have watched these videos. But uh, this looks uh, it looks interesting. I don't know. I think that's the trail. Let's get going. So here's kind of weird. We got three forks. That one, this one. There's, and that's a nice touch. You got a trash can at least. That's good. And the, the yellow marks on these trees. So I'm going to assume this is the trail. So we're going to just follow these yellow marks and see where it goes. I'm on the pond trail. You can see it looks very nice. I like it in the in the uh, state forest here. Would I can't even pronounce that word. Someday I. I'll get with Lisa. <laughs> Always talk about Lisa at the VFW because she's been living here all her life. She's, I'm sure she knows how to pronounce that uh, wick wickalaki or whatever, however you pronounce it. So, but uh, you know, it's just kind of a, like I said, a nice easy hike. Got the walking stick. It's a very nice. Boy, I recommend this one to my sister and her wife. I like the shade. Uh, here's a nice little bench to to sit on. I mean, very wide. You don't even really have to worry about cobwebs or spiders, uh, you know. And certainly, if it was a snake, uh, you'd see them long before, you know. And they, I'm sure they would just scamper right off the trail. But you could stop here with the palms and have a little picnic. You can see it's just kind of winding, turning into more of a piney area. Oh, got a something biting on my arm. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is just a really like you said on the sign, a nice easy hike. Uh, just come back here, you know, no up and down, very wide. Uh, more like hiking down a, 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 a sandy road than it is a, a trail, actually. So I'm on the pond trail. You can see it's uh, kind of a different look. Uh, really, I love the feel. I mean, because it's the evening. You know, I love hiking in the evening. I, I just, I got a long motorcycle ride home. I can't want to stay too late, but it's only a 1.8 mile hike. So I should be done by about uh, 6.30 or so and then just get the, get on the ride home. But, uh, you know, that's what you got to do to hike new trails, and that's what I like to do. And I'm sure at some point I'm going to have all the trails done in the area, but uh, that's all right. Then we'll start venturing out and doing some camping. So we'll just keep going. Looks more like more of the same here. So we're hitting another fork. I don't know what the red means here let's see if it, it used to be look look looks like there might have been some writing on there I don't know but the yellow marker is going this way um, so I'm going to continue following the yellow markers uh, like I said we're on the pond trail and uh, you know it's uh, it's kind of more of the same uh, not the scenery is not changing too much we're not breaking into open fields or but I'm sure when we get to the pond that'll be really beautiful I'm so uh, a nice easy hike wide trail uh, I don't, you know I don't know what oh by the way <laughs> I don't want to get political with this but I did see a, a sign that I'd never seen before on a rural house and it had the word F and then the, the second word was Biden so you can use your imagination on that one. 
<laughs> I don't know if I'd have the nerve to hang something like that on the front of my house. It was two houses, both of them right next to, right next door to each other. Rural Florida, man. That's uh, they, but uh, hey, check this out. Didn't this? This is kind of, kind of nice. A uh, little different look. So I'm glad I had the, the video going. So let's just keep on going. So not very far into the hike, uh, we got this right here. If you see me swatting, I got a fly buzz. I mean, whenever I don't bring my hat, they just that's when they come out. But uh, I don't like having it on in the evenings because it, it, you know, I like being, having a full range of, of, of view. But uh, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I wonder what that is out there. Uh, who knows? But it uh, looks like the trail is kind of moving to the right here. We're gonna hike along the pond. Uh, we might get another view. We got an airplane flying right there. Uh, a lot of propeller planes around here. And there's the sun. Isn't that beautiful? Well, don't you wish you were here? I know I would. I, I, that's why I couldn't watch golf for a long time because I was always so envious. I, I just I said, man, I wish I could play golf for a living. I was never could putt. I could hang in there with them hitting the ball and with the accuracy and everything. And I'd, I'd, I could hit 18 grains in regulation, but then I'd three putt 10 of them, you know. All right, let's keep going. I said, I only get the weird stuff on the video. Looks like fishermen kind of hike down here. I don't know what the purpose of this platform would be. And it's got a solar panel up here. And then we've got a structure coming up over here. Now, I haven't seen any of the yellow markers, so I'm wondering if I'm on a trail. Oh, it's just a roof. Yeah, see, that's always a nice touch. You know, you get caught out here in a thunderstorm. It's real important to have something like that to just run under and, and just wait it out. And, you know, I assume that's what it's there for. I don't know. But, uh, like I said, I'm not seeing any. Here's a post. Serve. S-U-R-V-E. Survey Control. Water Management District. So we'll go down here a little ways. Uh, I'm just not... Well, there's, there's a yellow marker. Okay, yeah, we're still on the trail. All right. So I was just, I was just curious because uh, it's a different look. Um, here's another sign. Oh, it's just a yellow marker showing you the trail from the other direction. All right, let's keep on going. Good. It's good to know we're on the trail. This is the pond trail again. This is kind of a cool look. You can see the marker there. But the trees are actually in the water because I guess all that rain that we just had, it brought that water in a bit. And uh, that's just a look. I wonder if we're going to go all the way around the pond. We might. I don't know. You can see we're coming up to another fork. I see the yellow marker here. I wonder if it's just going to go up and loop around maybe. We'll find out. So here you have another fork. Uh, this is probably that fork I showed you a while back. You know, if you came back, uh, if you just wanted to hike up that road, you could. And uh, so but we're going this way because I see a yellow marker ahead and let's keep on going. Here's a nice little swampy area, maybe a gator over in there, huh? All right. They, uh, as Lisa put it, you can't go more than a mile and a half without having a, uh, a bull gator because they're in mating season that uh, might attack you. So, uh, you know, it is, uh, you, you might say, uh, Kirk, you're just talking nonsense. No, it's, it, she said just, you know, make sure. You see, here's another trick. Well, I'm going to keep going this way. I'm thinking this is the trail. I don't know. Boy, you could really hike around back here. I mean, there's all kinds of different twists and turns. I'm just trying to follow the yellow markers. Let's see if I see another one. Oh, there's one. Yeah, okay. So I'm still on the trail. So I went to the left left fork there. So, but uh, you can see just kind of a grassy road type hike. Nothing, not, nothing much to it. Easy hike. Still, still on the pond video. Got a different look here. So I wanted to get this. Looks pretty good. Man, I tell you what, I got a fly. He is just one persistent sucker. And uh, I didn't bring my hat. That's me paying the penalty for not bringing the hat. But you can see it's kind of kind of thickened up here. So, you know, this is uh, very nice. Very nice. I like the I like the different look coming up here at the end. All right. All right, so we got a fork here. It says horse. <laughs> so, so yeah, if you want to hike the horse trail, you could go that way. But the yellow trail is going this way. Kind of a weird looking sign, isn't it? You know, so this will be good. So I can hear the cars 
Looks like the hike is kind of coming to an end. Got some kind of weird looking trees here. You know, I got this one looping over. Just trying to get the weird stuff on the video. So you can kind of see it's uh, just continue more the same. Uh, you know, I do like the fact that you got these smaller trees now. And uh, boy, I, you know, I, I can't wait to come back and we'll do some of them other trails. That'll be fun. You know, I'm sorry the day's coming to an end, but you can see I got plenty of daylight, so it'll be a long motorcycle ride home. So I'm not sure. Like I said, you could come back here and hike around, but there's another trail. But you see these markers, it's showing to the right. And then you got that air, and then you got a red and yellow on this tree. So I guess I'm looping away from the, uh, the pond. Definitely worth coming back and hiking some of these other trails just to see where they go. You know, you probably want to plan a, a, a good long day. I'm just following the yellow markers today because I got that long motorcycle ride home and I'm just getting started on this trail about 4.30 or 5 and it's going to get dark at 8 and I really don't like Man, a guy just got, got killed last night on a motorcycle on 314. How many times have I ridden my motorcycle on 314? And uh, it's just it's just dangerous at night in my opinion on a motorcycle you know i mean it, if that's your only transportation i can understand it but if i can avoid uh, riding in the dark i will you know i'll always take a car to, but uh I, luckily being semi-retired I, I don't have to i don't have to drive in the dark either i would i, would, I just so it's so uh, it's pretty pretty nice it, it can kind of see the trail looks uh looks pretty pretty good looks I, I we, we saw all we could of the pond. You know, I would have loved to have seen another dock uh, there. I And they said that you got fishing in there, but uh, boy, with all them lily pads, I'm not sure how that would go. Because, you, you know, I guess you could probably just catch perch um, and take, take some home and eat them. But uh, so you can see it's just, it's just staying really easy. Not much to it. All right. We'll see if we see anything else that's unique. Uh, but uh, really really just a wonderful hike and you could come back and uh, do a lot of these side trails you see this is a blue marker okay going this way now I suppose that's a horse trail probably because you can see the sands really kicked up back in there but you know it's it looks hikeable I don't know but we'll, we'll stay on the yellow trail here well I always like to get it's still on the pond trail uh, you know coming around the back side here away from the pond and you can see I'm at the 1.5 mile, so I've only got well, maybe just a little further to go. But what a place to camp, huh? Right here. Well, you could come in here. I mean, it'd be a primitive camp. No picnic table or a fire pit. You couldn't have a fire. But it'd be pretty cool to come in here and pull up a tent. I don't know if there were any signs that said no camping. I mean, I didn't see anything. You know, most of the time here in Florida, we're pretty wide open about that sort of thing. It's only when you get to the, like, certain parks where they, they're... You know, I'm just crazy about stupid stuff. You know, like when I was at uh, that park near me and, you know, we're closed at five. What the hell are you closing the gate at five? You know, I mean, just leave the place open. Nobody cares, you know. But uh, anyway, so, but that's a state park, you know, and it's gated and, you know, it gives them something to do. The rangers, you know, and there was a ranger place where they could live and back in there. And, you know, it was a big boat ramp. That's little, little Lake Weir. I forget the doggone name of the park. I do want to go hike that day that park one day but uh all right so this is the pond video again so this will probably be the last video um so but uh that's uh, i just saw these areas these would be great for camping right in here so i had to get this on a video <laughs> what in the world would this be out here in the middle of the woods seven eight nine four nine warning observation monitoring well i have no idea what that means anyway i just didn't want to get this on the video you gotta so that if you're taking the right turn rather than the left kind of a little ways up into the trail here you got another bench which is nice looks like you could go this way if you wanted a different height so we're just still following the yellow signs i love it when they put benches along the way because sometimes you just want to hold up and and just sit for a while and enjoy the the sound out here. In fact, I'll be quiet for just a minute. All 
Okay, still on the pond trail. I just kind of want to show this. I mean, this is a real, real nice touch. I mean, that don't fly. Oh my God. Teach me not to wear a, a hat. I guess that would be one downfall. <laughs> this trail, it's got one mad fly. <laughs> so, but uh, it did tighten up quite a bit. I mean, uh, so you really felt like a, a real trail for a while. You know, first we were kind of hiking what looked like a, a road and uh and then the trail you know it wind, winds around and gives you the feel that you're really back here in the forest uh just the way i like a trail uh, i mean you can see here you know they uh, they could trim down just a little bit but uh I, I like it i like it a lot so this is uh this is what you're seeing see the bend bending to the right here that's always a good good feel for a trail that it you know just kind of goes around the trees and, and gets you gets you the feel like you're just in the forest not really following a trail I, I like it still on the pond trail got a different look here but it, man let's look at this tree is that the weirdest looking tree I mean there's not a leaf on I guess it's dead unfortunately but that is just wild looking and uh, I just saw this little open area trails longer than I thought it was going to be I guess maybe I'm tired from hiking earlier but it just seems like, uh, you know, I thought I'd be done by now. But uh, it's, uh, you can see it got kind of white sand here. And so it's just still wandering around and tightened up and uh, became a real, a real trail. All right, hopefully that'll be it. Uh, can't think of anything else to, uh, to, to talk about other than, you know, I just wanted to show you that little area right there. The fly finally left. <laughs> that was one crazy fly. I bet I hit him 16 times with my hand. You know, now I, I didn't I didn't crush him, you know, I just batted him out of the air and he was flying around so much I kept batting him away. Usually that's enough to get rid of him, but I think I was just pissing him off. <laughs> and so he just he kept coming back for more and I kept swatting him and hitting him occasionally. So anyway. Too bad I didn't break a wing off of that sucker. That's just, sometimes I do want to kill something. And that fly was right high on my list. All right. Let's get the, the final video here. So we took the left fork. That got us up to the pond pretty quick. And then we came back. On, I like to hike on the right fork better. Uh, if you wanted to just hike up and hike back. And uh, so what am I going to do? I got plenty of daylight left. So I've already had a power bar today and a Slim Jim, and I kind of, you know, I keep changing my list, but I think I'm going to start packing some fruit in the in the in the back. Of, now that I got that uh, container for the back of the motorcycle, because man, I would love to have an apple or a or a peach or a uh, um, tangerine or you know a cutie or so just something besides a power bar and Slim Jim. <laughs> you know, I don't even have any crackers today. But uh, the nice touch that I was going to give you about the pond uh, trail is there's a picnic table. You can see it coming up right there. And I, I just think that's a, that's a beautiful thing because when you're finishing a hike, you know, it's nice to just reflect on it, sit on that table, you know, drink some water. And uh, I, I'm not eating another Slim Jim. I've just, that's why I said if I had some fruit, I'd, I'd have me some fruit on that table. So that's another good thing about this uh, particular area for hiking, um, or this particular trail, I should say. Uh, it's, I don't know, maybe I'm just tired from that earlier hike, but it felt a lot longer than uh, just two miles, or maybe there's a country miles, or, or because it was winding around so much. Uh, so I, you know, I'm beat. I can't wait to, I'm just going to watch TV. I'm watching that Hannah, it's a weird show on... Uh, on uh, Amazon, I, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> you know, it's better than a lot of stuff on TV, but there's the chariot, so let me get out my stuff, take a break, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.